I'm in airplane mode, I don't need no drama Everybody know I love that drama. Hey, this is D Beauty here, also known as Shy Hayes, and I'm back with another video. You guys already know what it is. It's been such a long time, but you can still follow me, of course, on Instagram at D Beauty Forever. Also, don't forget that I do have an art page now, and that's at Dina Designing. Also, all the information will be down below. So, you guys, this video is going to be how I did my silk press at home. Um, I'm showing you my hair. It is relaxed. I'm naturally a 4C hair texture without a relaxer. So, I naturally have thick hair. Um, you guys will be seeing a process of how I get from this in order to the other clip that you've seen before this. So, definitely stay tuned. So, I'm going to be showing you guys what I use. Um... I do shampoo my hair with the Suave Moroccan Oil Shampoo. I love this stuff and it's so affordable, okay? Okay. So after this, of course, you want to make sure your hair stays moisturized throughout the whole style. I'm going in with my favorite. That's the Garnier Fructis Moroccan Oil. Anything with Moroccan Oil, my hair just loves it. So you definitely want to make sure you try several products to see what your hair loves if you don't already know what it loves. Okay? Okay. And then um, the next product I'm actually going to go in with is my day two um, dry oil that I got from APO Box. I'm going to use that. This stuff smells so good. And I'm actually going to be combing my hair out with a white tooth comb. No matter what hair texture you have, make sure that you comb your hair out with a white tooth comb first to get any tangles or knots out of it. And then after that, I go in with my Tangle Teaser brush and I do one comb through with that, one brush through with that and separate my hair in two just to make sure that when I do air dry just for a little while, it catches the middle of my head, girl. You do not want any wet spots while you flat ironing in. Then y'all, y'all can see my hair is actually a little bit air dry gonna run my white tooth comb through that one more time and then we're gonna section it out to get ready for the blow blow drying process okay so i am using my blow dryer on super high heat like this is the highest that my blow dryer would go to you just want to make sure that everything is you can, if you get it bone, bone straight with just blow drying it, then that's the goal. But clearly I can't because my hair is too thick. So I try to get it as straight as possible as I can. Maybe I'm using the wrong brush, but I just use the tools that I already have at home. And I still love the way my final result came out. Yes. So you want to blow dry it um, either way you want from the back to the front, from the front to the back, wherever. As long as all of your hair is dry. Um, again, you do not want any wet spots in your hair. Like you literally want to make sure that your hair is completely dry. Okay, take your time. Don't rush the step. Don't rush the process because you want to look good. Okay. Y'all, I'm going in with my favorite flat iron, okay? This is the um, Vanity Planet Vibrating Flat Iron. So it vibrates every time you press down on it. And this flat iron, I actually did a review on it two years ago. And I'm still using it, okay? Yes, they sent it to me. And y'all, clearly, I still love that product because I use it on the regular, daily, not daily, but on the regular, whether it's my hair. You can use this on wigs. You can use this on weaves. You can use this on any texture of hair. Just make sure that you do put a protectant in your hair first because there is no setting. Um, there's no way to change the temperature. It just goes from off to the highest heat like that's it no in between zero to 100 real quick is what this flat iron be doing so i'm going to be flat ironing one side of my hair for you guys so you can see how shiny and just how flowy and beautiful it looks just using two products which is the two oils i mentioned you guys and while i'm flat ironing that um i'm gonna let you guys watch that and enjoy it and i'll be back
okay so basically um i finished flat ironing my hair now you guys and i'm just going to start curling it make sure the ends are really bumped so i'm going to section out my hair again of course um and i'm using my flat iron to curl it so you don't need a curling iron you don't need anything you just want to do a really hard bump so you could have more volume in your hair and it could just be so bouncy and so fluffy okay this is like really an important step and then also while i'm doing that i'm just gonna let you guys know i do have a drawer on instagram now um i did start this channel off as a graphic design channel um and I'm going back to my roots, going back to what I'm comfortable with. So definitely follow me on Instagram at Dina Designing. Also, you could buy any of my original prints. Um, and I'll be at dinadesigning.com. All that information will be down below. So definitely do that. And don't forget, you could also use a code on there. Use the code DBEAUTY in order to save 10% off your next purchase. Okay, so time for the main event, y'all. We are going to do the silk press. I'm going to be wrapping my hair, the part that I hate the most, because it never stays. Maybe because I'm not using the right brush or tools. Um, so I gave up. I just threw the stock, the stocking cap. I just threw the shower cap on my head, and um, I would just run around my head and make sure that it was wrapped tightly by using my comb underneath that. Again, you want to put your blow dryer on. Um, I started off with on the highest heat setting and then I end up putting it on to cool. So after that, I usually keep it on overnight, but I wanted to get this video ready and done for you guys. So here's my hair, y'all. Here's a big reveal, y'all. Look at the body, look at the shine. I love it. I love it it's just like an old school doobie look like it's just so full like i love full hair and what i'm gonna do is use my cream of nature argan oil y'all and this is just gonna help sleek down my edges because as y'all can see it like a look crazy um usually i use my got to be on my edges but i just wanted a soft hold just for this video because i was gonna end up wrapping my hair up again um after this just to keep it on overnight and then um once you have it on overnight and you put on a silk scarf that's actually gonna hold it down really nicely and here's a big reveal y'all again i really do hope you guys like this video you guys enjoyed it definitely don't forget to comment like and subscribe click the little notification bell in order to be notified every time i upload y'all i am back and i will be uploading from now on seriously i'm trying to do it once a week if I don't do it once a week, it's definitely going to be more often than that four-month gap I had. Okay, you guys? So, stay tuned, stay blessed, and stay loved.